Regulating online sports betting for adults 21 and over with strict protections from minors and mandatory audits to ensure the money is spent effectively to reduce homelessness and help the most people across our state. Prop 27 also generates funding for every single California tribe, including small, disadvantaged tribes who don't own big casinos. That's why homeless service providers, bipartisan local leaders, and California tribes all say yes on 27. Paid for by Yes on 27, Californians for Solutions to Homelessness and Mental Health Support, a coalition of housing and mental health experts, concerned taxpayers and digital sports entertainment and gaming companies, committee major funding from Betfair Interactive, USDBA, FanDuel Sportsbook. Are you scared to put money in your bank for fear of IRS or state seizure for taxes you owe? Are because you've been filed in a few years? Or have you received an audit notice in the mail and don't know what to do? Then contact the law offices of Robert Goldstein today because this is what we do. We work to stop IRS and state seizures for taxes you owe. We may be able to settle your tax debt for pennies on the dollar with an offer in compromise. We prepare past due returns even if you have no records. We represent you before the IRS or state in an audit. I'm tax attorney Robert Goldstein and my firm always offers a free consultation so we may openly your legal options without any added pressure. We are a local firm with offices throughout the Bay Area. To schedule your free consultation, call us toll free 1-888-TAX-EXIT. That's 888-T-A-X-E-X-I-T, 888-TAX-EXIT, and make us your last stop. KBWC's Young Women's Professional Business Summit provides early career women with inspiration, skill building, and community. For only $49 per ticket, we'll cover topics like financial stability, workplace diversity, and planning for your future. Join us virtually on Wednesday, July 13th. Register at pbwc.org. KCBS News Time, 1238, and we have traffic and weather together on the 8th. First, though, we go to Dave Fox from your local Honda Dealers Traffic Center. It's a crash in Berkeley, westbound 8. In Ashby, a couple of cars, the left lane is blocked as that traffic backed up towards Gilman. Earlier crash in Emeryville near Powell has been cleared, so that traffic should be recovering. We go to the South Bay, large grass fire burning now, northbound 87 before Kerner. It's the hillside to the right, San Jose Fire Department on scene. They say already one acre has burned. It's very, visu visu uh, very seeable from 87 and CHP may have shut down the right lane for the fire department. We do see bumper to bumper traffic starting at Capitol Expressway. Westbound 92 remains closed at Upper Skyline Boulevard, Highway 35. A police investigation continues from an earlier accident. They uh, tell us they'll get things reopened by 2 p.m. The go around 282 on Highway 1 in Pacifica is the best and easiest go around at the moment. Uh, northbound 680 street sweepers as uh, they head into North of Sunil Boulevard. It's got the right lane block traffic back up before Sunil Boulevard. Your next traffic updates at 1248 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Your KCBS Bay Area weather forecast. The marine layer has burned to the coast. We see patchy uh, clouds over the bay, basically. Highs from the 60s at the beaches, 70s by the bay, mid-80s inland. Cloudy and cool tonight. Lows will be in the 50s. And then mostly cloudy to start your day tomorrow, becoming partly sunny throughout the day. Again, the temperature range about the same for summer pattern in the Bay Area. 60s at the coast, 70s around the bay, mid-80s inland. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. It's not often that something you like is actually good for you. Take sleeping on your side. Studies indicate that side sleeping can help with nighttime breathing. At European Sleepworks, we have many options to help side sleepers create the comfort and stability they need. From their unique contoured mattresses to their patented custom-fit oxygen pillows. After all, for over 50 years, they've been working on your side. At European Sleepworks at Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley or online at sleepworks.com. This is important news. If you have unfiled tax returns, the IRS is shifting gears and ramping up investigations on non-filers this year. If you fail to file your tax returns for a year or more, or you owe back taxes, now's the time to call Optima Tax Relief before the IRS finds you. Optima is America's number one most trusted. 
Composition Firm specialize in helping individuals, families, and businesses get right with the IRS. They're experts in the Taxpayer Relief Initiative, a powerful new program that can make resolving tax issues easier. A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, Optima's award-winning team has helped thousands of people protect their paychecks, bank accounts, homes, and businesses by putting their tax problems to rest, resolving over $1 billion in tax debts for their clients. Call up. For a free consultation, call 800-298-3904. 800-298-3904. 800-298-3904. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Every search you make, every click you take, they'll be watching you. Are you tired of being tracked online? There's a simple solution. DuckDuckGo. It's an all-in-one privacy app with a built-in private search engine, browser, one-click data clearing, email protection, and more. All for free. Download the app today and get the most comprehensive privacy protection with the push of a button. DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. KCBS News Time 1242. The White House says Iran is preparing to send weapons to Russia. It's not clear whether any have already been delivered. KCBS's Liz St. John has more. Iran may be supplying drones to Russia. True, this may offer some information about Russia's current weapon supply as they continue to wage war against Ukraine. We know both sides have really extinguished the amount of drones that they've used. They've brought many to the battlefield. We know we've supplied the, the Ukrainian military with them. But both sides are exhausted now as well. And so they're both are also looking for a point. They're looking for something that's going to make a difference. Retired U.S. Army Major and military analyst Mike Lyons says if Russia can bring hundreds of drones to the battlefield, it'll give them a significant advantage. Will Iran's delivery of these weapons to Russia change or accelerate what the West is currently supplying to Ukraine? It likely does put more pressure on the we see the Germans, we thought they were going to do more, but they're not. At this point, the United States is going to likely take the lead. The next 90 days are going to be key. This St. John, KCBS. There will be one less option for kids at toy stores in Russia. CBS News correspondent Deborah Rodriguez explains. Just a little imagination and you're good to go. The world's largest toy maker, Lego, says it's ceasing all operations in Russia indefinitely. The de he says it's ending the employment of its Moscow staff and partnerships with 81 Russian stores. It cites significant disruptions to the operating environment. Lego had already cut deliveries to Russia in March after the country invaded Ukraine. Nike and Cisco also announced departures from Russia recently. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. A Moscow court has fined Apple about $34,000 for refusing to store the personal data of Russian users on servers in Russia. Zoom Video Communications and Ookla, which runs the internet tool Speed Test, were both fined $17,000 under the same law. The Russian government has been trying for years to establish greater control over internet and social media within its borders. It's an effort that has intensified in recent months as Russia tries to control the flow of information about the war in Ukraine. We are going to check in with Ted Ramey in the sports desk in one minute. Guys, I'll never forget the first time I saw somebody get results at our clinic. He was an 81-year-old man who hadn't been intimate with his wife in over eight years. Viagra had stopped working for him, and he was desperate for help. After several treatments, he walked into my office and told me he couldn't believe the results. Needless to say, this was a very happy man. This man made me a believer in what we do. He had taken pills for years, but he had never fixed the problem. When he came to us, we fixed the problem. Our treatment does what no pill can do. And right now, we're offering a free treatment just for coming in. That's right. You can try this treatment at no cost. If you suffer from ED or Peroni's disease, give West Coast Men's Health a call today. With clinics in San Mateo and Sacramento, call 650-407-1168. That's 650-407-1168. Online at westcoastmenshealth.com. HSA cards welcome and financing available. Coming up on KCBS, is District Attorney Brooke Jenkins in San Francisco supportive of Mayor London's Breed's mass surveillance plans for the city? First, though, onto the sports line with Ted Ramey. Jeremy Fowler of ESPN had an interesting story out yesterday that the Seattle Seahawks were interested in trading for Jimmy Garoppolo but that the 49ers were in a tricky situation because they first need Garoppolo to clear a physical, and then they need to rework his deal. First, the...
positives. I'm told Garoppolo's recovery has remained on schedule. He should start throwing now. If he hasn't already, he'll do a ramp-up phase so he can eventually pass that physical. That is Fowler on ESPN. All signs indicate that Garoppolo is on schedule with his recovery from shoulder surgery, and there's also the known fact that the Seahawks are in need. And you have Seattle that's still out there. They were sort of implicated in the Baker Mayfield situation, didn't make that move. I'm told that internally they have discussed the possibility of Garoppolo playing for them. They've done their film work to see how he would fit tricky certainly to do a trade inside the nfc west so where does this leave us but the 49ers and seattle know they can maybe sort of wait this out because the 49ers have limited cap space right now i think around five million dollars they want to resign nick bosa and debo samuel to do that they need some of garoppolo's 24 million dollars in base salary Seattle probably knows that, which means maybe they won't try to make a trade. They'll just wait for 49ers to release him. The greater context, though, is that trading a capable quarterback to your fiercest division rival seems unlikely. But if the Seahawks offer enough, never say never. At the sports desk, Ted Ramey, KCBS. Hear that? That's the sound of me. A race car driver taking a turn at 200 miles per hour. And because I drive fast, I'm the perfect person to talk about how to protect your car and home, right? So let's shift this into high gear. Get this folks athlete has been interrupted by AAA Insurance. With affordable auto and home insurance, plus America's most recommended roadside assistance, AAA doesn't need athlete endorsements because we offer coverage confidence. Visit AAA.com for details and choose coverage confidence. AAA, outsmart life. Inflation is soaring. Prices are going up everywhere except Legacy Box. That's right. When our number people wanted us to raise prices, we said heck no. That's un-American. When times get tough, Legacy Box stands for Introducing the Legacy Box Inflation Buster Sale. Not $15 a tape, not $12, 9 Yes, just $9 a videotape. We're in a race to save your family's recorded past from the risk of fires, natural disasters, and the decay of time. Don't let this summer's heat age your videotapes, film reels, and fade your photos. Legacy Box saves your memories by professionally converting all your analog formats to digital on thumb drive or the cloud. And it's all done here in the USA. Legacy Box is simple and safe with over a million satisfied customers. For a limited time, you can get started for just $9 a tape. Visit LegacyBox.com slash value to get our $9 sale. That's LegacyBox.com slash value to get our $9 offer. LegacyBox.com slash value. Nature Valley has helped restore access to 10,000 miles of national park trails in and Everyone deserves to experience what's out there. Nature Valley, life happens out there. We are first for traffic on KCBS, and Dave Fox has spotted a brush fire in San Jose. A lot of other people can spot it, too. It's a large one northbound 87 right at Kurtner. The hillside there on fire. Last check, a 1A are already reportedly burnt. We're looking at traffic in the Chilton Auto Body Collision Cam already stacked up before Capital Expressway. The CHP likely with the right lane blocked to help the fire department fight the brush fire. Better news for Highway 92 drivers. 92 open again between Skyline Boulevard and Half Moon Bay. No delays in either direction. They took care of their investigation early to reopen. Westbound 80 in Berkeley and Ashby. A crash cleared off to the right shoulder, but traffic is backed up into the 580 Albany Interchange. Your next traffic update is at 1258 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Following your six-day KCBS weather forecast today, And continue sunny and warm and with a night and morning fog and it will be a bit warmer. Fifty. CBS News special report. The House January 6th committee has just heard from the spokesman for the far right Oath Keepers, Jason Van Tatenhoff. Keepers are, are a dangerous militia that, that is in large part fed by the ego and, and drive us to roads who at times seem to see himself as Trump supporter who says he was galvanized by the then president's tweet telling supporters to go to Washington January 6th. 
was asked why he went to the Capitol after the rally was over. Uh, you know, the president you know, got everybody riled up, told everybody to head on down. So he basically was just following what he said. CBS News Special Report. I'm Peter King. KCBS News Time 1251. Tom Lippy. KCBS Editor's Desk. According to a letter obtained by SF Gate, San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins looks to be backing Mayor London Bree's proposal for overhauling the surveillance ordinance across the city with the intention of cracking down on open-air drug markets. For more, Melissa Colross spoke with KCB. This is not necessarily new, this uh, London Bree's proposal, and there's already been some jockeying between her and San Francisco Supervisor um, uh, Aaron Peskin. What can you tell us? about the state of this proposal and what Brooke Jenkins' letter, ha what, what impact it could have. Well, like you said, there's been this jockeying back and forth, and what we have here is uh, differing ideas about public safety that's long been in San Francisco. One is that uh, the police would like to use more of the private sector cameras, security cameras. They have the ability to look at them on real time, let's say at places like Union Square when they're worried that there might be looting, or, you know, even in the Tenderloin and other areas where there's cameras available that they could be keeping an eye on drug open-air drugs you know to make a rest well the civil libertarians say wait a minute that's coming across to big brother and spying and we're not too crazy about that and it's been an ongoing tug of war and what's interesting about the letter from the new district attorney is she change in direction because in the past Chester Bodine was either silent or quietly opposed to such uh, changes and uh, this is going to leave the board out on its own. I think we'll see a compromise come through on this and there's also a couple of other changes you're going to be seeing already in this first week from the district attorney. She's asked for example for a review of all high profile uh, plea agreements that have been uh, are still in the works. She wants to make sure that they're okay and they're not necessarily too lenient. And she's taking a harder look at repeat selling drugs, not necessarily taking them, but selling drugs, especially in the tenderloin. Still, with the surveillance ordinance, since this is ultimately up to the board of supervisors, is Brooke Jenkins' letter going to have any? It is. I think it is. And here's the politics of it. In the past, when I've uh, been able to say, well, that's what the mayor wants, and maybe that's what the police chief wants, but we're not hearing anything from the district attorney. And it wasn't just with Chester Bodine. In the past, George Gascon had, you know, concerns about civil uh, the liberties as well. So this will take that away. They're not able to say, well, the DA's not for it, and, you know, so there's not even agreement among law enforcement about Basically, you know, the law enforcement, which would be the DA, the mayor, and the police chief, up against the Board of Supervisors, possibly. Or, you know, some of the Board of Supervisors. So that's going to change sort of like the strength on each side. And if the board says no, then they'll be the ones saying no. And they can't say, we're not just the only ones saying no. That's KCBS insider Phil Mateer. And Phil will be back live tonight with Patty Rising at 5.50. Well, if you want a healthy heart, there are now eight key factors as we hear from CBS's Stacey Lynn. Want to live a long, healthy life free of heart disease? Well, you got American Heart Association just added a good night of shut-eye to its list, like seven to nine hours a night. What else do you need to do to help your heart? Maintain a healthy weight and eat a healthy diet. Don't smoke, be active, and make sure you keep your blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar at acceptable levels. Stacey Lynn, CBS News. Money Watch now, and Jason Brooks says stocks are sliding into the closing bell. Yeah, it's been an up and down session, Brett, with the market turning solidly to the negative in the final hour of trading. Dow dropping 176 points, although that's an improvement down 300 about five minutes ago. NASDAQ down 101, S&P losing 34. Even two trillion dollar companies can see some pain from a global recession. A Morgan Stanley analyst says while Microsoft can handle a downturn better than most software companies, it's not immune to lower consumer double-digit drop in revenue in 2023, according to Morgan Stanley, with weaker demand for Windows, Surface tablets, gaming hardware, LinkedIn, and Office 365. On the Money Watch, Jason Brooks, KCBS. You've been talking about the break. Awesome. So what's next? Come see us at Chain Company and we'll figure it out together.
If you know what engagement ring style you want, you're ahead of the game. And if you don't have a clue, no new styles and designs in every price range. Same with the center stone. We've got a massive selection of diamonds, all shapes, sizes, and prices. Or maybe you want something colorful, like a ruby or a sapphire. We have those too. Hand selected for their beauty and brilliance by Tom Shane himself. We want this to be fun and easy for you guys. Our jewelry consultants don't work on computers, so it's a different kind of vibe here.